Company out of Cape May, New Jersey. Devil's Reach, Belgian style ale, easy drinking with fruity esters. 8.6% alcohol. Let's give it a shot. This is my second Cape May Brewing Company beer. And I'm sad to say this is only my second because my first one was really good and my second one was even better. This beer is phenomenal. It's a Belgian style ale. It kind of reminds me slightly of a Blue Moon, even though it's a wheat ale. So take the wheat ale out of it and just make it Belgian small. It's just a little bit more bitter. Make it a little bit more of a bite, a little bit more of a crispness, not as creamy, but it's got still a really nice hazy flavor to it. Slightly on the hop side, but it's got this awesome, awesome fruit flavor in it. But there's a nice quality of fruit flavor that you're getting from this, and the can doesn't really say it. I might have to research this, but there's a nice fruit flavor, and it very, very similarly, closely reminds me of Victory Brewing Company's Twisted Monkey. It's got that slightly mango, I think that's what it is, mango flavor, but whatever, if it's not mango, it's such a great fruit flavor that complements that slightly hoppiness, not IPA, but hoppiness with the ale, again, not IPA, but very toned back, but slightly bite of an ale with a little bit of hoppiness to give you that kind of juiciness. And then this fruit flavor, and it's so good. Oh, this beer is really good. This is one of those drinking beers that you get and you're just kind of like, wow, there's a lot of flavor in this beer. I really appreciate it. And how did they do this? Because you're looking at this beer from the can and you're just thinking, okay, it's a Belgian style beer. I'm ready for it. But then this fruit flavor comes in and it's a sweetened fruit flavor and it's just so delicious. And it just get, it leaves your mouth watering for the next sip. That's how good this beer is. And I might just be overhyping this beer, but I really, really enjoy it. And I can't complain about it. There's really not a, I can see it maybe slightly of a watery kind of taste that you kind of get towards the end. But I think that's just my mouth watering for the next sip. But my, my biggest complaint is that I haven't had more Cape May beers. And if I can say this out loud, and if Cape May is watching this, which I doubt it, but... Every time I see your guys' beers, I expect you guys to put Old Bay seasoning in your beer. And if you haven't done that yet, why haven't you tried? Because I want to try one of your beers with Old Bay seasoning in it. Just make sure it's not crab flavored, please. Either way, my drinkability, I could see drinking a six pack of these. These are really, really good flavored, really good tasting beers. They're light. Yes, I get it. It's high in alcohol. And that would be the biggest limiting factor. But... It's not overly high where it's it's aggressively unfortunate and you would have to limit yourself, but it's still high in alcohol. I feel like this is a year-round beer. It's a fruit beer. Yes, of course, there are other beers in the winter months that you might want to go after, especially around the holidays, but I wouldn't limit this just because of the flavor characteristics that it has, and it has great flavor characteristics. But on a scale of 1 to 10, this is a 9, absolute 9, and I am really happy that I found this beer because I want more of it. And I'm really, again, going to just kind of reiterate myself, upset that this is only the second Cape May beer that I've had, and I can't wait to see the next one and try the next one. But now I've had these really high expectations, and I might ruin it because, well, that's just what I do. I get high expectations, and then, well, they're not met. Or they are. Who knows? And that's what's exciting. But either way, that's Cape May Brewing Company out of Cape Bain, New Jersey, Devil's Reach, Belgian-style ale, 8.6% alcohol.